boom we've got this electric chainsaw stand today boys and girls which apparently is gonna make our life a lot easier so it's just an, an 11 and a half inch blade which is more or less what everybody needs you don't really need a bigger chainsaw unless you're gonna actually need a proper chainsaw it comes with a sheath comes with a couple of adapters and an allen key and this is the mama jamma itself it's the blade and the handle blade looks good it's decently long apparently it's got a uh, self-adjusting chain and that is the bracket that goes on the angle grinder itself and in the box there was also a wood carving disc in included i'm not too eager to try that on because they're not safe and boom check out the manual ah uh, if you can read it props to you guys Anyway, so let's get the old anger, angle grinder out and let's try and install it. Um, I only have an old cheap one. I'm, I'm not really a welder or anything. It does the job, does whatever I ask it to do, basically cut and grind. Um, but I was curious to see what these kits do because I've seen a few of them online. So it basically fits like that and it turns the chain. Now inside the box as you saw we had a few adapters uh, so basically you remove the the main bracket take the bolts out make sure you don't lose them like I just dropped one um, and now there are two kinds of um, square adapters in the baggie that go into the actual uh, chainsaw blade itself um, the only difference between them is the diameter of the thread itself. Uh, one of them is probably made for a drill because it's so small. The square is the same, uh, but it's just the threads. Can you see? Right, so basically what you do is you thread that on the angle grinder all the way down, all the way as tight as, tight as you can, and just, boom, drop it in. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Now, I can tell that this has a slight downside to actually using a normal chainsaw. Like, the blade itself doesn't have the front teeth to dig into the wood itself. But, you know, it's, it's something to cut larger pieces of wood that your circular saw can't handle and what you can't do with a manual saw. So basically, it comes together like so one on top of the other this is a moment where is it is helpful to have friends to help you out me because i haven't got any friends i have to do stuff on my own um and it's kind of fiddly a little bit you know because this retaining ring is a little bit loose and it kind of wants to fall uh, it's probably just my angle grinder being so beat up over time but you know hopefully you guys won't run into this situation um, I would like to take this moment to remind you guys if you want to you can subscribe to the channel Maybe like a couple of the videos and uh, stay tuned for more stuff like this um, By the way, the bracket has a tiny little lip on it that lip goes towards the actual body of the angle grinder uh, Because the angle grinder has another lip that kind of matches the uh, the bracket itself now, as you can see, I'm kind of struggling with, with this bracket a little bit. I would would really use an extra pair of hands, but, you know, what could you do? You just have to make do. Now, there are three sizes of bolts in, included in the kit. Um, the medium ones go in the bracket. Um, the, uh, the smaller one, uh, the smallest ones go in the handle and the two extra ones i think they're just extras uh but yeah i mean it, it seems like a good enough kit i wonder if it's gonna cut wood efficiently i've seen a lot of other videos before i've ordered this uh, saying that this is very dangerous and this and that i mean like look a chainsaw itself is dangerous this is more or less along the same lines so let's put it to the test